Hey everybody, Heather Lambert here, um, a long time no see. Um, I am coming to you today to ask you a question and wonder if you've ever felt like there's just not enough time. Not enough time to get it all done. You get to the end of the day and you're completely exhausted and you just have not done everything that you wanted to do. Um, that happens to me often. It happens to all of us, especially us that are busy moms and running around kids and trying to get the house clean and taking care of business or maybe working or building a business. Um, they often feel like there's just not enough time for everything. And so I want to share a book with you that I've read. Um, I love to read. I enjoy reading a whole lot. And I have recently found my passion for reading again. Um, I don't read, I read uh, nonfiction like self-help, business, uh, life books. So those are my favorite. And recently I've been reading a whole lot. So I thought I would share some of those books and titles with you in hopes that they may help you in your life. If you like to read or you just have something that's been driving you crazy, um, perhaps I can offer uh, a book that might help. So um, this one is called The Fringe Hours. It was actually recommended to me by um, another Sensi consultant. And what it's about is um, using the fringe hours of your day to take care of yourself. Because often when we're feeling so overwhelmed and out of time and like there's just not, I just can't get it all done, it's often because we're spending all of our time on other people, on all of those responsibilities that we feel like we have to take care of, um, all of the things that, that we think we're supposed to be doing. Um, and we never leave a minute for ourselves because we feel guilty. We feel like we're not supposed to. And if we do spend time on ourselves, how many of you have gone out to do something fun just for yourself and you feel horribly guilty because you didn't get something else done or that you're not doing something else? Um, I had to get over that while I was reading on the porch and, and I hadn't vacuumed the floor. Um, that guilt is real. And so we have first we have to get over that because taking care of ourselves and doing the things that bring us joy and make us happy are super, super important. And they fill us up, they give us energy, they keep life balanced, they make sure that we are, um, we, can, we can only take care of others after we've taken care of ourselves, right? We can't do for other people if we have nothing left. So you have to take care of yourself. You've got to find joy and happiness and do those things that make you feel that way, that make you feel good. And so the fringe hours is all about how to find the time to do that without letting anything go, which is the really cool part, right? We have so much time in our day. We have so much more time in our day than we think that we do. Um, and it's those little moments here and there that we tend to waste or not be effective with. Um, that we can change and that we can just pay more attention to and use more efficiently. Um, I take my son to uh, jujitsu class and to gymnastics and to baseball and there's all this time sitting around or in the car waiting to pick up a kid. Um, those are minutes that just get wasted in our day and if we add them up it comes out to quite a long time. Um, so I found I started to think about what could I do with that time and because I love to read, I can now find joy in those wasted moments um, and fill myself up and get the things I need um, without taking away from anything else. And there's lots of other examples in the book. Um, she talks about, um, and, and it's very practical and she even gives, asks a lot of questions and so that you can be very reflective and it can be very unique to yourself. And she walks you through and helps you figure out what does bring you joy, what activities would be good for your heart and happiness and make you feel good about life. Um, and then she helps you look at your time and look at your day and, and where do you have those fringe hours, those minutes and pockets of time um, throughout your day that you could use to do those fun things that would fill yourself up. and Because it's all about you know, living a life well and being happy. And if you are a happier person, um, the people around you will react to that. They will respond to your joy and your happiness and they will be happier too. And more will get done. And um, so it's just really good things. So this is a really great book. I um, 
read it a little while back, but it continues to be one of my favorites. So The Fringe Hours by Jessica Turner. Um, if that is something of interest to you, I encourage you to go check it out. And I hope to bring you more books in the future. Um, I have spoken, I went to a retreat last weekend and spoke to some other Sensi leaders who, and I shared some book advice with them and they said, you need to do something with books. So, um, I'm hoping to bring you more books, um, in the future days and weeks and months, um, on this page. So, um, hopefully one of them will speak to you. And if you're a reader too, reach out to me. I'd love to chit chat and talk about what you like to read. And if you have any great book titles to recommend to me, I'd love to hear them. So, um, hope you guys are enjoying your day and I'll talk to you again soon.